Yeah, what's good, what's good, what's good with y'all, man? Listen, first and foremost, this is everything everybody has been waiting for. The game comes out in 48 hours. NBA 2K New Gen, that's what they're calling it, the city news has officially released. And we're here to talk about it. We're going to react to the trailer. We're going to talk about the courtside report. We're going to talk about the new modes, the new layouts, the new designs, everything surrounding the city and the parks for next gen now before i start my spiel i need y'all to hit that like button the goal for this video a thousand likes i don't care just hit the like button leave a comment but i do want to let y'all know for anybody that got that good internet we uploaded in 4k man that's right These, this this right here you see this cheese is in 4k so listen go ahead and up that quality because all the gameplay that you're going to be watching will be in 4k so go ahead and check out that quality man let's get into it i've watched the trailer several times what we're going to do is we're going to watch it in full i'm not going to skip i'm not going to do nothing i'm going to let y'all watch it in full then we're going to play it back in slow-mo so that we can watch all the intricate details of the trailer now, just to remind you guys, I always got to mute for copyright reasons because it get crazy here on YouTube, bro. I still got strikes that is from like four years ago, bro. YouTube help me, bro. Help me. Now, you are now entering the city. Oh, <laughs> now, of course, they are going to be heavy with the promotion of Jordan. And if you notice, they just showed all four parks. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that, but they did. They show all four parks. They now have fixed the fast travel system, which also allows the map to be much smaller and easier to get around in a sense. All right. Now, they have something called the theater, the block. All of these different things and all of these different places to play just for you and your squad and when y'all want to meet up as well as a newly designed wreck, but the same colorways. I'm hoping that 2K will give us new colorways as well. Now, all of this right here is just NPC activity. You guys already know that. Um, this is the Knights Court, as you guys can see. You know what I'm saying? The Knights, the Knights Park look crazy. The Wildcats joint look wild too. I wish they would have tigers like up on the rocks. The Beast joint, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, that's hard. And Vipers, of course, one of the best parks, if not the best park in the whole city. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna be a Viper, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna chase that rep. So wherever the wherever the best rep uh, join is that's where I'm going to end up, you know, later on in the seasons. But the arena looks dope. Um, being able to load into your mod player games and stuff like that, that is super dope. And plus, I believe it will change on whatever team you're in. And plus, as you guys can see, the TKO event will be returning. All right, so that's 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 pretty huge. I feel like that, like already, we're in a W type of sense now. Let me be clear, with 2K always constantly trying to redesign, recreate, innovate, and stuff like that for next gen, I believe it's only one way is up. You know what I mean? We've only had next gen. This is the third year for next gen. And I've seen a lot of people in the comments saying, oh my God, next gen might be it. It might finally be over for old gen or whatever they want to call it, PS4s and stuff. And the way that I see it, I've been on next gen since it started and I've had pretty, 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 pretty good times. I guess you could say the, the hardest thing for me as a creator is like when I'm looking for games, it's hard for me to find people to play with. It's so many people out here talking about how much they're a point guard, like comp player and stuff like that. But when I'm out on social media looking for people to run with, don't nobody want to run guard. Everybody's scared. Everybody running. Everybody saying, oh, I don't, I don't really be on next gen like that. Or they they just don't answer. They scared. You know what I'm saying? But this year, I'm going to be a small forward. I'm still going to be looking for people to play with. My Discord server link is inside the description. So if you try and run, pull up to the Discord. If you scared, keep watching, bro. But um, let's go ahead and change this joint to point twenty five real quick. So we can watch all the intricate details, of course. Now, uh, I'm going to be pausing, of course, throughout this. So don't worry. It is what it is. Um, it looks like they have a whole Puma building behind this now entering uh, logo. Let me see. It went, there you go. So they got a whole Puma building right there that you guys can see. So I'm guessing that there's going to be some cut scenes and stuff like that at that Puma building. If you decide to sign up with Puma as one of your uh, sneaker endorsements or even 
clothing endorsements because we don't know what the endorsements are going to look like. Now, like I said, Jordan is a big push this year, of course. So everything is like, I feel like I've seen everybody with Jordan wear on <laughs> throughout this whole entire uh, park and city scenario. Now, this is the Beast of the East Park. This joint look crazy, bro. All this volcanic, just ambiance. It's just, it's what, it was the, this is giving me like 17 vibes. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is kind of like what we want. This is, how can I put it? They've done their job. They've, they've totally redesigned. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. They were showing this at the end of NBA 2K22 season where they revamped the courts midway and just say, you know what? We're going to give you guys a much easier design courts, easier to get around and just give you something different to look at. This right here is crazy. This is completely sectioned off from everything else. Now, I'm guessing that there's like maybe like some type of fast travel point within this park to get you to somewhere else. But, bro, this joint is completely sectioned off from everything else. This joint is a W, bro. Now, I'm going to be clear with y'all. Viper Court, that joint look hard, too. The Knights, I've never really been a fan of the Knights colorway and stuff, but... I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, the Wildcats court as well, probably one of the dopest looking. You know what I mean? And we'll look at a little bit more of that in this uh, video. But um, the murals is always dope. Um, I wish that, you know, they, I hope, well, I hope not wish. I hope that they have a mock court where we can actually go back to, you know, getting our murals and stuff done and all that within our penthouse. Now, um, this joint is a mural called This Is My City. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? Little, little low key stuff. Now, this right here shows you guys that they're going to have a robot head mask type setup. So it looks like they're expanding on the headwear within the uh, park. And also, you still see that they have their uh, skateboard equipped on, on the backpacks. I told you, it's a lot of Jordan wear here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're they going crazy with the Jordan wear. And it looks like there's a ton of murals everywhere. Like, if you notice on this mural, it's got the Vipers, it's got the Beast, it's got Club 2K. So basically, this is a mural of the city because it got the Wildcats right here. You see the little Knights joint in the back real quick. You know what I'm saying? They, they they going heavy with the with the, with the the promo. You know what I'm saying? Now, the Fast Travel Station. This has been an ongoing problem for 2K for the last, like, I would say four years as far as fast travel goes. You know, a lot of people, you know, we go out, we go into the daily spin. We used to do that in 20, go into the daily spin, come out, and possibly get a new park and stuff like that. When 21 came out, they had like different, you know, areas like bus stops and stuff like that. Then when we came to next gen, they had this fast travel station. And it never really worked for to like reset the whole part and stuff for you so hopefully this year this drone works without a hitch hopefully we don't get stuck in there hopefully we don't get certain error codes from 2k and i'm gonna be honest with y'all um for everybody watching if you do get any error code from 2k you can send it to me via twitter and if it's an error code that i see a lot of people getting i can report that to 2k but please also make your 2k support tickets because remember i don't work for 2k so if you send me a, a a little screenshot of your error code and then be expecting me to be the one to get your drone fixed it ain't going down like that what i can do is i could pass along the error code and be like yo i seen a lot of people getting this error code but i'm not the one sitting behind the desk devin and and, and looking at god dang error code that ain't me I'm just somebody that's trying to put the word out to help others. Still put your support tickets in. Still get video proof. Don't do these screenshots, bro. I've I've heard many people say, yo, I'm just going to send them screenshots and screenshots never work. Get video proof of stuff that be happening to y'all. If y'all be seeing something happening, if y'all got Elgato's record, if y'all got game capture, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and hit that share button. Record the last like minute or two of your gameplay always have video proof video proof is much more valid than pictures because you can get a picture from somebody else's experience and say that it happened to you just because you're trying to might be trying to game the system so that's what 2k be having to really worry about a whole lot of false you know what i mean complaints and stuff so don't don't get yourself roped into that man get that video proof bro it's much more effective trust me
Alright, alright, so they do got the Mountain Dew Court. So if you, if you notice, Mountain Dew Court right here, you know what I'm saying? Now, also, this player is on the... Oh, Chips Ahoy. This player is also on the Bulls, if you see the Bulls uh, banner up there. All right, now, this is, like, the craziest thing right here, right? So, this is the map of the city. He just went down in a fast travel tunnel, and a menu popped up. This is major, because now we can control where we want to go. So, it says that they have a night station, a B station, a Viper station, Wildcat station, the block, the block we got to talk about. We're going to talk about that in the course I report. The North Station, Arena, One City Plaza, the Event Center, West Mall Station, East Mall Station. So there are going to be two malls. Now, funny thing, there was another like shopping district in 2K22 that was like off to the side, like over near like the like between the Wildcats and the, and the uh, Knights. Nobody ever went there. Like I literally did like a 1 million VC uh shopping spree and I went over there and like was stuck in water and stuff like that. So that that it was so crazy, bro. It was unreal. But this right here is dope because they still have all of the same stuff. And I believe that they may have a place where you can go to like one of your highlighted spots. Like when you first load in, they should still have that. But being able to have access to all of this in the city is really, really dope. Now, this right here is the like the everything in the block bro the block is going to be crazy because that's where I, I know that's where a lot of people are going to be staying at respect to the park and all that but i feel like the block is where everybody going to be at everybody going to be trying to match me trying to go into events trying to go into play 1v1 3v3 like oh it's going to be crazy and i ain't gonna lie this is super simplistic bro it's a straight like if you look every park right it's a straight line from the park straight into anywhere else. Yeah, you could take the train station, but now it's a straight shot. If you want to go to the mall, the event center, the block, like if you want to go from your park to anywhere in the middle, it's now a straight shot. No, and 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 trying to turn, trying to do the try. It's a straight shot, and now you're on a and you're on a full block. You know what I'm saying? So like that's that's fire to me. You know what I'm saying like. All that twisting and turning and skating and up the hill and down the hill around the block. That joint was crazy. Now, this right here is the block. Like I told you guys, this joint is crazy. So, they got uh, Pro-Am. They got the Wreck. As you can see, it's a 5v5. They got the Club 2K. Like, all of this stuff is right in, in, like, in tune with each other now. And it's a nice little spot for people to uh, spin the wheel and stuff like that. Like, bro... You could buy like backpacks, uh, do rags and stuff like the the bare essentials is all here. Like I feel like this is where everybody will be, bro. Like everybody will be here on the block, bro. You can spend because think about it. Everybody has to spin the wheel here. So when people load in, they probably gonna load in right here on the spin the wheel. Wreck right there, pro am right there, club two K right there. The, the little event joint like Annie up and all that stuff is right there. It's like, bro, where else do we need to go? You know what I'm saying? Because on 2K22, you had to spin the wheel in your respective corners. Like every everybody's like spin the wheel was like so far from each other. So now this is the place where you can come look at other people's builds and possibly match up with other players from the same park or even, you know, build up a rivalry with other people, which most people don't. But, you know, for people like me, like I got a logo. So when I'm running through here with my logo and stuff like that, a lot of people going to be trying to figure out, man, who the heck is this with this logo? You know what I mean? So it's really going to build traction to wanting to get more games with people. So that's 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 really dope for me. You know what I'm saying that's what I like. And, and plus, they got the Jordan statue right there. But they're going to Annie up right there. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, if you notice the ante up, the th even the theater, the theater is something new that we're going to talk about as well. But like, like I said, everything's right here. Somebody fast travel right here and they already in a block and everything's here. You're like everything is crazy. I can't lie to y'all. It's, it's really, it's really insane. All right. So now we got the, um, the international plaza joint. You know what I'm saying? Got all the stores. Of course you see Nike Converse Jordan, New Balance and Puma. You know what I'm saying? This joint, I ain't going to lie. Did it all that look on all that, you know what I'm saying? Then they got the new uh the new Jordan joint, so that's that's a vibe. You feel me? The new Jordan joint. Yeah, meet up at the black, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Look, look, you know what I'm saying? Look at look a little 2K. Look a little 2K trying to get better with all this. Now for new events every week, bro. 
No time to waste with uh 12 second shot clocks. That's the hustle event. The cages is back. Anything goes when trampolines are involved. They got in the bank defensive stops add value hit a three to collect. Like bruh, um one v one nothing beats the basics. So one v one park all these events every week. This is this is gonna be a movie, bro. This is gonna be a movie. Um, they got a they got a comp joint. What's this? Uh, reinforcements. You and NBA players of the what of 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 your choice take on all comers. Mm, okay, okay. Play when you want. I wish I I wish I knew what that comp joint say. Uh, hold on, can I can we? Uh, nah, they ain't show us. They ain't show us, but I see, I see that they got, they got a little crowd looking at us. Let me see if the crowd react after this dunk. Please don't cut. No, uh, they cutting it. Yeah, they cutting. They, uh, they cutting the reactions from the, from the crowd. Ah, oh, I want to see the reaction from the crowd, bro. That's what I really want to see. All right, now this is, this is the, this is the big thing that everybody was, was uh, tweeting me about. The wreck. Brand new jersey, same colorway, but brand new jerseys. Obviously, you see that it's now giving you like real pro am type lead, like leagues outside the NBA type of vibes. And you'll see here, but the jerseys, the jerseys look cool, but the colorways is like, uh, I really like the black Jones though. You feel me? The black Jones crazy now. The crowd just look like they just standing still right here at this moment, not doing anything. It don't even look like they cheering for real. Let me see. All right, so he just dunked it, and I don't really see any reaction. Oh man, let me find. Oh, he's celebrating, but the crowd not cheering. Is the is the crowd that he facing the opponents or? Oh man, please don't just be sitting there. Um, they got the Kobe court, the Mamba Forever court, of course. Um, it looks like it's three v three now, because it's only it's only three v three on here. So did they did they revamp it to not be five v five or four v four? Was it? I think it was. Was it five v five or four v four? I can't remember. But or maybe they might have different Kobe courts. I'm not sure, but I, I see him got them Kobe's on, though. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, we like that. We like that. We like that. We like that. What else you got for me? All right. Now, another mural, of course, you know what I'm saying? RP, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the goats, you feel me? Definitely, bro. Definitely. This, this mural is definitely fire, you know what I mean? And they out here doing yoga, tai chi, all kinds of stuff. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, now this is, this is the Knights court. So you know what I'm saying if you're going to be a knight next year, this is what you got to walk into. You know what I'm saying? It's what you got to walk into. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty, it's pretty dope. And it looks like it's easy to get around as well. And oh my God, that drip that he got on. That's why you getting dunked on. I wish he would have kicked you in the face. Cause boy, your drip is try. Oh, he almost kicked you in the face. <laughs> All right, this is the Wildcats. You see uh, construction coming through. I mean, I wish they had, like, tigers jumping off of all the edges and stuff. Like, this would be, oh, my goodness. See, they got cactuses. Like, it's giving, like, you know what I'm saying, mountain desert type vibes. Like, I ain't going to lie. This is giving me, like, Borderlands type. You know what I'm saying? Anybody ever played Borderlands, bro? Like, it's giving me that type of vibe. I ain't going to lie. With them courts. Ooh. You see them nets? Hold on. Oh. Oh, that. That backboard is wood, bro. Look at the trailer, bro. Look at the little trailer. That's a little stopping shop joint. You know what I'm saying? A little pop-up shop. Boy, them, listen. Them goddamn. Them goddamn chorus, boy. <laughs> you going to have to all net that. <laughs> you hear me? You going to have to all net that thing. I ain't even going to lie. All right, what we got here? Okay, beast of the east. Let's see what let's see what the changes in theirs. They got the chain nets, bro. Beast of the east officially got the chain nets. Okay, okay, I dig it. I dig it. Ew, I ain't gonna lie. The crib been held up by a motherfucking magma and all this, and 
Damn, that shit hard. I ain't gonna lie. Into the Viper Land. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shit look like a little snake tunnel. Okay. Come on, nah. Show me some, bro. Show me some. Let me see. See, now this... I don't know why the Viper John... It looked like uh, Treasure Hunters. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me Treasure Hunter vibes. But I but I dig it, though. You know what I'm saying? Them... them Ooh, them courts a little rusty. But at least, at least we got glass backboard. We ain't got chain nuts. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm saying we like I'm going to be there all year. Ooh, you see the snake going up the goddamn. Okay, okay, hold on. Now, this is this is what's fire right here. Now, of course, a lot of all of this is NPC stuff. They want to make it seem like, you know, when you're walking here to go play a game or something that people are outside waiting mingling ready to get in and stuff like that and i like that they populated it that way you know what i'm saying it really look fire that way you know what i'm saying Ooh, you're going through the metal detector players entrance okay nah that's hard that's hard i ain't gonna lie that's hard that's hard oh they, they got like this little security room court access oh you take your flicks so like when you go in do it change your fit to like maybe something that you wear before the game Nah, they really designed yo. If all of this space is to be walked through, diff. I can't lie to y'all. That shit would be diff. Yo, you could just walk in the locker room, bro. Nah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. Being able to just walk in the locker room is crazy. Nah, that's hard. Nah, that's hard. Nah, that's hard. Cause like we used to just get the tunnel work. But if you able to just go and just, you know, free roam around the whole arena, that is that is fire, bro. I've been I've been in a couple arenas in my life and I can say being backstage where like, you know, players and some of the like important people and stuff like that, VIPs and stuff, being able to walk around that stuff and and experience that is super dope. And I believe if they allow you to do that in 2K, a lot more people would want to do that in real life because they'll basically get a glimpse of what it's like, you know what I mean, behind the scenes. That's, that's pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Find greatness. You know what I'm saying? So basically this this right here is the event center and it's basically like a TKO event and this joint is moving. You know what I'm saying? This joint rising all that letting people know that the TKO event is starting, bro. That's that's pretty that's pretty hot. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty hot. Shoot. I think I think they I think they got her W. That's all I'm saying. I think it's a W, man. I really do. I really think it's a W out here in these streets. All right, now that we watched that and broke that down, um, let's go ahead and go through the course I report real quick. So let's go over the course I report real fast. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you guys up too much longer. But if you guys want to check out this course I report, you can go ahead and go to uh 2K's Twitter. But basically, this is a layout of the gameplay enhancements, the Jordan Challenge, my NBA, my team, the W, and now the city is here. So you have all these links that you guys can click on. You can read those reports, the whole shebang. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to the homie Eric, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, listen, the city was born in NBA 2K21 and only available in NBA 2K23 for new gen consoles, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, NBA 2K23 City is approximately 30% smaller in comparison. Um, fast travel is now in here, scattered all around the city of subway stations, which you know we went over. Um, you just got to press R1 on your PlayStation controller, of course. Um, they basically all the feedback that we've been giving them for years about how things go and how we how we consume what they give us. They've been, you know, just taking that feedback, you know, little by little, trying to make things better without breaking the game. And I'm saying affiliation boroughs now. So basically, within a big city, there are boroughs and it makes complete sense. So if you want to go to the Viper borough, then bang. So South City Vipers, you guys already seen all this. You know what I mean? Um, the Northside Knights, you know what I'm saying? They have they have all of this stuff here if you guys want to watch it. The Western Wildcats and beast of the east like i like i said man the beast of the east john been cut off like this like on some volcanic shit that shit is hard bro. like i i do understand though like everybody john is like tapered off but bro this this volcanic john crazy i ain't gonna lie 
Um, the block. Now, remember, I want to talk to you guys really about the block because this is where everything is actually going to be going on. So basically, it's at the exact center of the city, the theater, um, Pro Am, Rec, Annie Up, Club 2K, the Black Lives Matter Court. New design is now a 3v3 experience. Kobe Court, new design is now a 3v3 experience. So basically, Pro Am, 3v3, and 5v5, of course. The Rec, all new building, exterior and interior. And all 3v3 for the Black Lives Matter and Kobe Court. So, of course, this is probably to get more games on that court instead of waiting for 4v4 and 5v5, of course. So, the theater is about to become your new favorite place to play in the city. Replacing the warehouse buildings, that is where it's scattered throughout the city. This is one central location which uh, will serve as a dynamic way to play instant matchmaking games. The theater building is set up uh, thematically to look like a movie theater from the outside. On the exterior of the building are four giant movie posters that detail the four events that's going on inside the theater at the current moment. Upon entering the theater itself, you will find yourself in a lobby where you simply enter whichever theater or auditorium you are ready to play in. And as quick and easy as best of all, seamless way to play basketball. Yeah. So basically week one. Theater one will be losers out a two v two experience where you can come along and bring a friend with you. Um, only catches as the name implies the opposing team gets possession after made baskets. Oh man, those games are gonna be forever. Hustle three v three experience with the twelve shot clock. Like I said, comp squads only three v three experience where you bring your own crew. Sure to be your favorite um, true two K vet comp moves bring competitive game tuning and table where you only the strongest will survive. Theater three is where I will be. I'm going to tell Trey. I'm going to tell Raunchy. I'm going to tell everybody about the comp squads 3v3 experience. That's that's going to be where we live for week one for sure. In theater four, Rooks, no squads. 3v3, but, you know, no squads allowed. You feel me? Um, also, a great place to level up your my player. The only players allowed entrance are those rated 75 and under. So you can be a 75 or under to get into the Rook Snow squads. If, if you want to be comp, you got to go ahead and up your player and get a squad. Um, this kind of format allows us to create some creative new game types. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, okay, hold up. Double or nothing. Earn double XP when you win. Losing team earns zero. That's a W. Oh, no, I can't lie. That's a W, bro. That is, hey, hey. Talk to me. Talk, that's mm, in the bank. Shut down your opponent. Uh -huh, add it to the vault. First team to hit a shot from beyond the arc will collect the current balance. Bring your perimeter defenders here. Okay, pulling weight. Every uh, player on the team must contribute towards the offense equally. More on this when the time comes. Okay. Living the dream. My player will play to their true potential. Attributes and badges are maxed for that build during this event. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh thank you 2k thank you thank you these can be configured in different and unique ways example they can be 2v2 3v3 5v5 squads only no squads level 40s only so level 40 is still here vipers only etc okay there are a lot of game types and i'm keeping some of them some of my personal favorites under wraps until their week arrives okay so more events come in more, more different layouts different experiences Okay, and then the arena, you know what I'm saying? We saw the arena. Um, Dreamville Studio, fire, you know what I'm saying? Um, southeast, uh, not far from the Beast Borough. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's where I'm gonna be at, you know what I'm saying? Spit my rhymes, cause you know, I'm, I'm a rapper now. And a ball pillow. <laughs> Event Center, of course. Um, the Jordan Challenge building. So this is where you go and do your uh, Jordan challenges and stuff like that. Um, let's see. The rewards are the UNC Michael Jordan jersey for your my player, gold jumpman necklace for your my player, um, a calf sleeve with a one. At, it's not just arm sleeves no more. Calf sleeve with a one plus boost to your my player's dunk rating. More accessories giving us boosts, bruh. <laughs> hey, hey, I know, I know, I'm a fucking cliche. I love it. I love it, 2K. I love it. Keep the same energy, bro. Keep the same energy, bro. I'm loving it, bro. Becoming a legend. Um, The Race for Legend is back, so y'all might really want to um, read this. 
So basically, you don't reach level 40 four different times. You complete four different objectives in order to become a legend. And they said that's going to take a shit ton of time. So I don't know if that's points per game. I don't know if it's like total points, total rebounds, total blocks, total, you know, whatever category. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me. Wait till the game come out. Um, seasons, of course, um, debuting in NBA 2K22 and boom, as the best part of it, completely free. Thinking back to the NBA 2K21 and years prior, seasons offer so much more value to you. The player, the static model, and the replace prize somewhere between nothing and very little. Quite the upgrade. With seasons, we have a fresh set of awards available to earn every six weeks like last time. I'm very pleased to announce that seasons will be returning to the city in NBA 2K23. And we've got a whole host of rewards planned to come this year and improve on upon the experience of last year. Seasons in NBA 2K23 will once again allow players to access new content and earn rewards simply or playing with no additional cost. We will have information on season one coming to you soon. Stay tuned. Chat. They did it. They didn't charge us for seasons. They kept it absolutely free. So now you can go crazy on your VC because I know y'all going to be making a shit ton of bills. So closing remarks, you guys hear, see it here, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my closing remarks. I would like to say Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that it was lengthy. I know that it was a lot of information, but I love to read every single line. I'm passionate about this shit. I've been playing 2K for a long time. No matter what I go through in my gaming career, streaming career, content career, 2K has always been a center around that. I love playing a basketball video game, and I can tell you guys right now, I'm going to be on this game. Yeah, I hit level 40 every season last year on 2K22, except for season nine because of the rewards. They were all the same, except for the attribute sleeve, of course. But, bro, this this right here is looking like it's going to be a playable, playable game for the whole span of the game, of course. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video, man. Let me know what you guys think inside the comment section about this. Give me W's, give me L's, give me your thoughts. I know a lot of my rec homies out there is probably pissed off because the colorways ain't changed. Like I said, I'm hoping we could change the colorways, you know, within the different seasons. You know what I mean? I remember one year they gave us Christmas jerseys. Last year they didn't do that. I know last year, though, they gave us a unique green arm sleeve and headband. So with them changing that colorway but not changing the colorway in the game of jerseys and stuff and the, and the design... I'm hoping they could possibly do that this year, whereas though we can choose our colors and stuff later down the line. But again, I love y'all. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong.